from CIS 30A. In this video, I will go over a brief orientation for the course. Um, welcome to CIS 30A. In this course, you will be using Canvas in which you will be able to access the course resources such as tutorial video, assignments, labs, quizzes, and exams. So when you log into Canvas, you will see a module and I design each of the module to basically cover the unit content. So in the first module, it will give you all the course information. You will find our course information here, our syllabus, your textbook, my contact information and office hour for the winner, and also your course resources and the college resource. So to cover the course information, um, this course is three unit. You are required to fulfill the prerequisite, which is CIS 1A, advisory that you would have taken CIS 5, but that's not required. That's basically um, introduction to C++. So in this course, we will learn how to program in Python, and Python is commonly used in a lot of different um, applications, web applications. Um, some of you might be familiar with Python and Raspberry Pi. Um, or you would be writing scripting in Python for cybersecurity. Now, this is one of the five courses in the Python programming certificate, which entail other more advanced Python course. So this is the first introductory class. This format for the class is online only, where I provide recorded videos and lecture. So the objective for you in this course, at the end of the course, you are able to solve program problems using Python programming language and using the creating functions and built-in debugging tools. Second, you are able to design and develop modular Python applications in which we will talk about how to create modules in Python um, as you go along. And keep in mind that this is a six-week course, so it's going to be fairly rapid. Make sure that you keep up with the work and ask questions when it's needed. Um, you can come to my office hours if you have concern or questions. This course fulfill UCI transfer as CS9P or to UCI course INC CSI, uh, CSCI um, 31, which is Python programming. So on the next page, you will be able to find the syllabus. Please make sure that you review the syllabus. The syllabus goes over the course policy, the content of this course, in which we will learn about different areas of Python, different functionalities, and how to be able to write strings um, using functions, classes, libraries, and so on. Additionally, it's also going to contain the textbook information, but you will also find the textbook page covered. I'm using an optional textbook. This is a free textbook that you can um, download from the online link that's provided here. And in the textbook, it gives you various exercises. You can be able to follow that. However, I do provide notes um, for each of the units so you can use my note document in addition to the textbook. So you don't need to buy the textbook for this course. And it also talks about my late assignment policies. Um, keep in mind that this course will close on the 10th of February. So make sure that you complete all the tasks that's required on time. And I do not accept late project or take, allow late final exam. It must be done during the course time. Um, there will be different categories that will be used in the grading. Quizzes is 15% assignments and participation is 30 percent so i expect that you complete the assignments weekly assignments um, or periodic assignments and you also actively participate in discussion and required tasks in this course that's going to be 30 percent of your grade lab activities in which you will have hands-on practice we will learn how to solve problem with python through our labs and that's going to prepare you for your course project that will be 20% of your grade. Your course project is 15% of your grade in which you will apply all the concept that you've learned in this class throughout the five weeks. And you would be able to produce 
an output for this will be a program in Python, um, and you can pick different cases for the project. Your final exam is going to be 20%. It is multiple choice. It's going to be via Canvas. I do use Lockdown Browser, so make sure that you review the install information for Lockdown Browser and follow the instructions as provided in order to access the final exam. Additionally, it is password protected. I will release the password information during the last week or the week of the final exam. So your final exam is 20% of your grade. There will be opportunities for extra credit. It's open for everyone in the class. You can choose to do complete the extra credit or not. That will be up to you. All extra credit will be added to your overall grade at the end of the course. So throughout the course, if you completed the extra credit, it will not be weighted in until the end of the course. The code of conduct here, so make sure that you respect other students, you treat people fairly in the class, and I will be monitoring the discussion and the chat sessions accordingly. Any kind of behavior issues or anything, please contact me or let me know. I also do not tolerate cheating. So if you copy and paste somebody else's program and submit that for your own, that's an automatic zero and possibly dismissal from the course. My contact information and my office hour for the winter is listed here. Winter office hour is not required, but I make it available for you. So that way, in case you need help or have questions, please you can sign in on Zoom, but if the time doesn't work for you, you can schedule an appointment to see me. So my contact information is provided on the first module in Canvas and also on the syllabus. Then you can find the textbook information, and so make sure that you go through the first module, um, identify the things that you need. I also provided college resources, your course resources, like how you can gain additional knowledge or tutorials um, access. You can find that here along with programming challenges to make yourself a better programmer or a person that will be able to write Python programs better. The certification for Python is links are listed here. You can pursue Microsoft certification or you can, produce, you can pursue Open EDG. Python certification or known as PCAP. Um, this is certification is useful. However, in development, people have mixed feeling about certification, so you can choose to do it or not. So as an RCCD student, you should have access to Office 365. I mostly use Microsoft Office, uh, like such as Doc, Word Doc for most of my assignments and my notes. So if you don't have Microsoft Office application, make sure that you download it or access your online account so you will be able to, act, to view your documents. Additionally, if you are using a Mac, when you submit your assignment, please make sure that you have it in PDF um, as I cannot access the pages file if you submit it in pages. So make sure that your submission is in DocX or PDF. And the link for Microsoft Office 365 is here and you so you can look at how to be able to install Office. Your course plan schedule is listed here. This is subject to change but mostly I have laid out your weekly calendar on what you would be completing and keep in mind that this is a six-week course so we will start with week one going into the introduction and then we will proceed all the way through week six in which we will complete our project and turn it in and complete the final exam. So you can refer to this um, as a schedule or a plan for our course. In case you have questions, the best way is to send me a Canvas message or email. You can also post a question here if you want your classmates to answer or if you want to share information with your classmate, keep in mind that this discussion thread is open to everyone, so it won't be private. So if you want to ask a private question, make sure that you send me a Canvas message or an email. 
um, or if you want to ask a question in general and be able to share the, the knowledge or the answer with the classmates or somebody who can also answer that, you can use course Q&A here. And I would sporadically check that as I receive Canvas notification. Um, I will post additional internship opportunity if I see them um, for the winter going into the spring. Um, so as far as the course orientation, make sure that you check out our course requirement, our syllabus, and then you will proceed to each of our weekly module and completed the task as listed. So the way that you should view the course content is through the module tab. You can also see the list of assignment, but the way that I put together my course is each module represent the unit. It has the notes for that unit. It has all the tasks that you need to complete and all the information. Additionally, I will send announcements to make sure that you are going to be on track for the course every week. And so look out for the announcement for updates in our course. And welcome to CIS 30A. I look forward to having you in class. And I'm excited to be your guidance in Python programming.